Good morning all, it's half 11 on a Friday morning. I've just been to my local tackle shop, Roast Tackle and Bait, to pick up a couple of packs of fresh black lug. Right, we're off to a rock mark in Land Dudno. Uh, I've seen a few catch reports in and around these rocks where um, there's some big grass coming out. Big grass, big, big grass. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna head over there. I've never been to this mark before. I've only looked at it from the road. I don't know how safe it is on the foot. I don't know how it fishes, I don't know snags, I don't know whether to take two rods down on a tripod or just a little float rod, I don't know, I'm totally stuck, I've never been there, so I'm going to, well I'm not going to bore you, I'll see you when I get to the mark, we'll have a look and um, try and work a plan out. Right, where I want to go, you turn off them rocks, as I say I've never been here, it's probably a mark in all fairness, where there should be a couple of you. So I thought I'd come and check the mark out before I got the gear out of the van, which was a mission in itself. It's a bit eerie over the edge of there. <laughs> anyway, while well, looking around the mark, I come across a dead dogfish. A lot of people don't put these back. I don't know why, for some reason, I always put them back. Bloody hell. <laughs> Sweating. Can't find the way I got back up. Can't find the entrance. I've just been climbing up that one. So I mean, you should always have a couple of places like this. Still need to find my van though, somewhere up there. <laughs> Can't get up. Ah, oh, come on, Webby, we can do it. And this is all the kit I'm taking. Rucksack and a rod. If I want to film in, I wouldn't need the tripod, but I've got to film this one. Didn't really want to use this rod off the rocks, to be fair, but it's a 15 footer. And I think them extra few feet will help the fish snagging on the way up, should I be lucky enough to get one. I'll see you when we're back on that cliff face. You know what, when you're on here, it's actually a comfortable mark. Obviously, I'm not going to be going near the edge. Um, you got all this sit down your rod tip there um all your gear here and you know what what a place what a place i'm uh if i don't get a bite for the next three hours i ain't gonna lie i'll be gutted but um i like this place i could just i could just sit here do you know what i mean i've seen absolutely shite loads of uh white bait down there and a couple of bigger fish underneath on which i think are bass not massive but three or four pound fish uh, I've only got stuff on me for rass, but it don't it don't mean they're not going to take the boat, you know what I mean? Uh, sorry I've rambled on a little bit more than usual in this video, you know I like to keep it short, but, you know, 50% of this fishing today is literally getting to the mark and back, so that's probably why I've rambled on a bit. Um, I just hope we can winkle something out, I'll be posting this video anyway, because uh, I ain't done all this effort not to put a video in, <laughs> but uh, a few bites and a little rass or some job done, but I know there's monster rass down here. I know there is, so fingers crossed, yeah. Get the rods in, check back to you. So this is the rig. Just a bit of lug on a little lock. Three-way swivel, down to a longer link with the lead. So again, this will just be drifting in the current. Simple setup, see how it goes. It's a six ounce there. Quite a big bite for rass, that, not gonna lie. Um, you'll probably get away with a quarter the size of that, but I'm after the big grass. So we're going to get this in now, but uh, look at the swells coming in here. They don't look that big on camera, but believe me, they are monsters. I'm probably about 40 metres up from the sea here. The bloody monster swells, them. I really hope we can get a result here. <laughs> I really, really hope we can. I'm going to get this camera set up, get the phone on charge, and uh, see what's what. But yeah, to put it into perspective, that's the camera on normal zoom. So I don't want to be getting close to the edge yet. But... Um, quite a long way down like you toast if you're in there anybody doing this type of fishing i'd strongly recommend you know your mark because you know you're not going to get cut off by the tide i'm definitely not going to get cut off here because i'm too high above sea level i think i'll be safe in a tsunami here uh come in pairs make sure you've got your escape route plan don't go near the edge you know safety is always first all we could do is give it a go it's going to be just a surprise for me if i get one as it is for you so I'm not going to know what it is until I lift it over this rock. There's no way I'm leaning over the edge looking. I think that's a bite. It's hard to tell for sure. Because there's that much line out the water. There's probably 30 metres of line until it hits the water. You know, you're losing a lot of bite indication. That was a definite bite. No fish. That's a bite. That's the first bit of definite action. I dropped that one really close to the rocks as well. We're about an hour and a half off high water now. And I'll probably fish it an hour back out. 
Still had a couple hours fishing just to winkle one out, but that was a bite. I was unsure whether to hit it or not. I probably should have done. Oh, it don't get lucky, huh? With me only fishing for little fish and it being a stiff rod and about 25, 30 metres of line out in the water and fishing in about 20, 30 metres of water, bite indication was very poor. So any little tap or bounce I was hitting just to see if anything was on. Yeah. Another bite. Come on, please. Really don't matter if you're catching or not though, does it? Literally sat on the edge of a mountain, quite a bit away from any civilization. Just chilling. <laughs> not gonna lie, a fish would be nice though, but uh, it's just nice to be out. It's good for the mind, good for the soul. I bet there's some cracking big fish out here, as in like taupe, congas, huss, rays, everything. What well, the thing is. I don't think you could get them up. Obviously, it's it's a long way down, and then you got the overhangs. And how, how are you going to get anything up that's bigger than four or five pound? That's one of the only reasons why I ain't got big fish baits out and stuff. It's just uh, I just don't think you'd get them up. It's not not fair on the fish, and it's bad angling, isn't it? I think there's one on then as well. No! So what happened here was I had a little tap on the rod and I struck into what felt like a fish. It was only small, it wasn't big at all. But in typical RAS style, it shot straight into the rocks. No! Absolutely got him. Go again, eh? All right, switch that camera off. Get another rig on and uh, go again. It's definitely something on. Right? It wasn't massive, but you know, when you lift, when you're reeling in, you can feel it bouncing like that. I was like, yeah, there's something on, probably a rass or something. Well, not gonna lie, I'm gutted. <laughs> Absolutely gutted. It wasn't a big fish at all. Like, it could have been a decent ish rass or something. I've hit it down there. So I've seen the twitching on the rod ride. I've hit it, I've felt a couple of kicks. Nothing big at all. I'm not going to say, oh, it was a monster. It could have been like a pound tops. But it's come round and snagged. That's a typical sign of rass. I just bolt into the things. Right, I've just tied a new rig now. I'm gonna, well, it's like a two-hook flapper type. I'll show you now. And uh, there's a bigger hook on the top one. Should something bigger come along. Um, it's just coming up to eye water now. And I just had that bite. So fingers crossed. Somewhere lurking down here. Could be a ras for us or even something different because it's so deep i've got this rig i'm fishing now lead on the bottom up to a swivel this is like my little ras hook we stuff as we move up to the next swivel which would be about six inch off the bottom i've got a bigger hook a bigger bit of worm should there be something bigger they're both on freeway swivels i love the swivels because every part of this rig turns so you you rarely get tangles they always spin out on the cast or whatever instead of just having knots what wrap around the line you know what i mean you can spin this as many times as you want and it'll always come back undone you see what i mean so uh yeah i get this in now that's the little rasp one at the bottom and uh yeah i'll check back to you I'll tell you what that sun's coming around now and i can't half feel it on my bald head sizzling away there <laughs> Nothing seems to be doing, but just in a little spot, I'm going to try. It's that spot there. I'll keep fishing there, and obviously I've lost that one and had a couple of things, but uh, have a look over here. There's a lot of rubbish here again. The anglers give away the best spots. Well, when you do a video and there's spots in it, then leave this to let you know that it's the best spot. <laughs> this is where I fish. That drops right down there in a the little cove. So that... It's gonna be my next spot. I'm gonna leave that camera there while I go over because there ain't really a lot of room to put it anywhere and I don't really want to drop my phone in. So uh, I'm just gonna go and have 10 minutes off here, see if we can get something. Watch that rod tip. Oh, 
Oh my God. Please tell me you've seen that. Right, it's only shallow round here. Oh, that's about three foot of water. The top bait was nearly out of the water. It's just gone wang instantly. Right, come on, we got this. So uh, what happened there? That was literally, I just lowered it into the water, sat back and he skid one almighty bang as you just seen on the screen. Um, it was the big worm on the bigger rock. Uh, I'm not sure if that would have been a ras to be honest. Maybe, I don't know, a bass or something. Fishing in about four foot of water there in a little cove. Round there where I was dropping before, it's probably about 40 or 50 foot. So uh, I'm gonna carry on here for another 20 minutes or so. Surely it's gotta happen soon, yeah, surely. <laughs> Gonna go back to where I started for half hour. I should really be off by now. Um, really don't want to give up. It's the first time on a mark. I've learned quite a bit about it. I've had a few bites there. I've just been done on the bottom hook again. Uh, I definitely had a proper cracking bite there. I can spare another half hour. I ain't giving up. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a fish. <laughs> Watching this video now, it don't seem like I've been here that long. Uh, I've probably been on this rock now four hour. High water's gone, it's on its way back out. I'm determined, and it's not over yet, is it? It's not over. Is that big massive seal I was on about? Since I've been back in this swim, another half hour, 40 minutes has gone, and uh, nothing. I don't want to give up, so I'm going to go back down that side for another half hour, and then I might have to um, admit defeat. I had a couple of bites there. The bites seemed quicker that side. Yeah. Effort's in, people. The fish just aren't having it. Well, they are. I just can't catch them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a blank. Oh no, it's not what we come for. <laughs> oh dear. Let's have a closer look at him. I'll show you my hand because they are interesting little fish, you know. Now I'm really not going to milk this and say, this is it, we've got a fish, this is everything. It really wasn't what we were after, but it stopped the blank. Cool creature, yeah? Uh, you can catch these by just turning a rock over on the beach. <laughs> I've spent five hours fishing, climbing a mountain to get it. <laughs> but it makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? Oh, well. I'll have a couple more chucks. But uh, I suppose a fish is a fish, eh, people? It's not a blank. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> Climb from the top of there. I've sweated, I've climbed, I've put my life at risk for that. But you know what, that's fishing, isn't it? Uh, I am gonna have another 20 minutes, half hour now, but um, if you don't see me again, unfortunately, <laughs> that is all there is. But as I said in the last video, we keep it real. If we have bad sessions like this, we have bad sessions. Some of the sessions, we've had monster bass, monster bullos, one after another, congas, you know, 10 catfish in a row all over 30 pound you know the videos are on the channel we do have good days people <laughs> it's just how it is but i'm gonna have another drop because obviously a few of these little tap tap bites that i've been having could be um could well be these little uh blennies and that but uh you see the sweat on me look Woo. big bald head in the sun but yeah a lot of them bites could have been uh that one bite i had when i moved to the new spot though what went right over i'm guessing that was a bass or something um i'll be back here but uh, like I say, I'm going to have another 20 minutes, half hour. If you don't see me again, that is all there was. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, sub, and all the normal palaver. Um, and I'll see you in the next one, like I say. But if you do see me fishing again, it means I've had another. But if not, I'll see you all in the next show, people. Take care.